Review time. Coat, Miami. Let's do it like this. Coat, Miami. Are you doing the double camera thing? Work. Um, I've been here now. What? I've been here with you twice. I want to say another two times after that, or including that. I don't know. Um, but they don't offer a porterhouse. They offer it's New York strip, which is dry age, and then the fillet, eye contact, haircut, which is not dry age. They said sometimes they have a special. You could, but yeah, this is too close. This is too close. I'm getting claustrophobic. Cameraman's special cameraman Jagger walk back in the back in the house tonight. Uh, we're back in the streets tonight. Um, so yeah, they don't offer the porterhouse, but I got creative with it. I said I'll take the dry age strip. I'll take one hand as the dry age strip. The other hand as the uh, wet age fillet. So not dry age is what it is. Um, and I'll put it together. I'll call it a porterhouse, and we'll, we'll bang out a review. So. Coat, Miami. Again, so for me, the one issue is like, I eat a lot in general. I think that's a fair thing to say. Um, so when I go to a normal steakhouse, like a Peter Luger, it's about 110, 120 for a, got flustered, 120 for like 30, 40 ounces-ish. Here it's like 50 for an eight ounce portion, which I'll pay, but, at this point, I just have to be like, ah, whatever, I don't give a shit, and eat until I feel all right. And I feel good. I always feel good after this, honestly. So, yeah, watch out. Thank you. Good night. Bonus baby review. Uh, so, yeah, that's the only downside. Like, it's very expensive, but everything else about it's phenomenal. Everything else about it is phenomenal. I just wish I could eat double the food at the same price. Can. High stakes review time. Coat Miami. Let's see what we got. This is a so they don't have a porterhouse. You guys don't do it. Like I could never order a porterhouse, right? Uh, only special occasions. Special. Like, well, yes. Today was not one of the special. Oh yeah. So when it is, I'll be back. But I just made my own. I did fillet, chopstick skills. I did fillet and then dry aged strip. So this is not dry aged. This is not dry aged. That is dry aged. We'll do one at a time, as you can see. Filet side of the, so I construct my own porterhouse. Is this fair? I think so. Can I do, we'll do it at other places? Potentially. Two steaks, everyone knows the rules. Filet side. The flavor, I don't know, the flavor from the grill. No, it's just so much better than on like any other pan. And I don't know, that's, I think that's, I think that's my favorite aspect of the whole thing. And you can't, you just can't replicate this type of flavor and that type of bronzing. Again, play side, two steaks, every nose rules. Hope Miami. Yeah, for a filet that's not dry aged, ridiculously flavorful. Also, another haircut, new haircut. Not rest in peace, Acos. It's it's not a goodbye to see you later. But now he recommended Alex. So we have Alex, haircut, I think it looks pretty good. Is it Akos? Eh, but Alex did a very good job. We'll do, uh, I'll do this next, whenever it's ready. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's Instagram. All right, now this is a strip side. This is dry age. Again, I made my own. Okay. I think I'd be a little bit creative. Thank you very much. Two steaks, every nose rules. I said rare. I almost caught myself, I almost said medium rare. And then I said, look, we gotta compare apples to apples. I always get it rare. This is no different. Two steaks, everyone knows the rules. Strip side, dry aid, Coat Miami. I don't even know how to score this. Like, I, I've never done it like this before. I plan on doing it like this eventually. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. I don't know. I don't know if we ended up ordering them. All right. Again, strip, strip side, cooked rare. 
really pretty perfect. Season exceptionally. I'll do the whole thing outside, obviously, but two cents everyone, everyone knows the rules. Flights in about what five hours. Chat with a walk cameraman. Cheers. Two cents everyone knows the rules. Port Miami. Creativity. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Um. All right. So review. Their fucking grills in there. I want to, like, you saw the grills and we have the video. I'll put it on the thing with the down drafting and the, the grill grates. That thing is so fucking nice, you have no idea. For me, who's like, again, a steak, I want to say a nerd, but a geek, I'll go to geek, I won't go to nerd. The down drafting in that grill. Wait for the car to pass, wait for the car to pass, wait for the car to pass. Pass. Uh,. That, that grill, that down drift is so nice because I hate smelling like smoke when I, when I cook steak. I said it was only 2500 for that grill. So if you see me anytime soon in the next house or whatever, maybe I'll get a, that type of grill if I could somehow source it from Japan or Korea. Maybe Korea. Um, but yeah, the point being is that the, the crust that grill puts on the steak, cooking each piece is its own individual steak, fantastic. It's something you can't get at any other steakhouse other than a Korean barbecue, uh, Korean steakhouse. Um, so as for the crust, I mean, that's gonna be A1. Seasoned perfectly. And the flavor of each one of those was fantastic. Again, filet, not dry aged. So now I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to do juggling. Do I wanna go, how do I rank, how do I score? I've never done this before, and either one, and one is dry aged, one isn't. It's all things that I'm thinking about. Um, you could tell that strip was dry aged. That was phenomenal. And this filet, that smells like shit. Uh, the filet was like a good, a good alternative, but I would have also liked that dry aged. Now I'm just rambling. I don't know how this doesn't, I mean, the amount of enjoyment that I get from the place has to be, I mean, I say I just scored the steak. So you know what, if I'm just scoring the steak and the price is irrelevant, then this is an 8-1. It's an 8-1. Oohs and ahs from the crowd. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Oh my God. No, this is an 8-1. It's an, yeah. I'm gonna disregard the price. I'm gonna take the price, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna say 8-1, Coat Miami. I'm called a jet setter now. I think that's the word, a frequent flyer. I got in last night. I'm here with Jagger today and I'm going back tonight. Um, I'll be back next weekend. It's okay, I'm still Mr. Detroit. Alex, nice barber shop. Thank you, Aikos, for the recommendation. You'll, you'll be missed. But I think he did a good job. I think he held your own. I think he honored your tradition of a, of a good haircut. So, 8-1, Coat Miami. Special, well, not special guest, just cameraman. Unless you want to say anything. Eh, it's okay, you don't have to say anything. Good. That's your review. Thank mm -hmm. you.